everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Growl. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is a really cool, very tall, curved, closed uh, gift box. Um, I don't really know what this is. I done it um, with my smaller curved, closed gift box. That's what I called it. Um, I guess I need to come up with a name for this design. Um, and yeah, I'd done that design a while ago. I think it's about nine months ago now um, and absolutely loved it. So I have done it again, but this time in a taller box. So it's using the whole length of A4. So in the UK, that's 11 and 5 eighths of an, in an inch or 11 and 3 quarters. Um, I know that for others, you may have letter paper, which is eight and a half by 11. You can still make this because um, I'm using eight and a quarter in width so you could just cut yours down to eight and a quarter and use the 11 inch length it will just mean yours is just that slightly bit shorter so yeah this is what we got it's a really nice size it measures I think it was four by four yeah we were it's four by four and then in height was nine inches I believe and then basically it just does up with this here and these all interlock you lift one up at a time and then it opens up to a really big box but I don't want to open it all again now you'll see it as I'm making it the papers I'm using are from Cre Simply Creative by Trimcraft and again I'll show you those packs in a minute but that's quite so cool. these are the paper packs so for the one that I showed you before I use this one here so like I said Simply Creative and this is their Tropicana and 12 by 12 pad, you get 20 sheets, 15 designs and five of them are double sided and they're 200 GSM so they're nice strong pieces I use the Puffin or Pelican or Toucan, whatever it is, <laughs> and these stripes here, they looked really good. And then the one I'm using today is this one, and I'm using this um, like checkered um, one here. I'm not going to do anything like this on it, I'm going to leave it blank because I don't know what I'm going to use it for. It'd be there ready for to gift to someone, but you get the idea there. All that is is just a fussy cut little. Um, creature there and then I've just mounted it on two circle framelits okay so really simple right so you are going to need that bit's already done so you need two pieces like I said mine is eight and a quarter by eleven and five eighths eleven and three quarters it's always in between that um, so you need two pieces of that size or you will have two pieces of um, letter paper you will need to bring your letter paper into eight and a quarter but keep your eleven inches okay um, then you are going to need four pieces of pattern paper. This measures three and three quarters by a nine and five eighths of an inch. Now, if you are using obviously 11 inch card, I would say you need to bring this up. So what is the difference there? So we've got a difference of, um, what is it? 11 by 11 and a half. No, 11 and Sorry, no, yours is 11, so we've got a difference of about three quarters of an inch. So I would say you need to bring yours up. Let me get to it and then do it. I'm trying to figure that out in my head and I can't think of it right this minute. So once we get to that point, I'll tell you what measurement you're going to need. But you need four pieces of that. Okay, so and with then your you need base piece, you need a piece of five and a half by five and a half. And what you want to do is just pull the card out ever so slightly. So you're just revealing a little bit of the bottom of your scoreboard and you want to score it three quarters of an inch. You want to do that on each side, so rotate, pull it out a little bit, three quarters of an inch. You're not pulling it right out to that one eighth of an inch um, score line, that first notch. You're just kind of putting it in between there. Again, rotate it, and putting it right in and then pulling it out a little bit, three quarters of an inch. And again, pull it out a little bit, three quarters of an inch. Okay, by doing that, it allows us to fit the box inside. Okay, so pop my scoring is exactly the same for when you, you're using the 11 inches as well because all of the stuff we're doing is along the eight and a quarter inch side. So, first of all, you want to score at four and then eight, then rotate it so you've got this small quarter inch side now facing the top and you want to score at one inch all the way down. Then rotate back again so this one inch piece is at the top and you want to score at one and a half to the first score line two and a half to the first score line, five and a half to the first score line, and six and a half to the first score line. Okay, then what you want to do is pop it back again along the longer side, and from that one inch score line, you want to come down to three inches, and you just want to put a little notch, like so, flip it over, and notch again. Okay, then just fold that one in half, and again, just put a little marker at three. 
because basically we're going to be connecting all of these little notched marks together. Okay, repeat that, that on your second the scoring piece. Done. Keep your stylus because we're now going to need that to do the next bit. And what you want to do, so like I said, I'm going to just go and pop in some little pencil marks just so you can see it better because I'm working on white card. So all I'm doing is putting a little cross just where all these little markers are. Okay, so I've just put pencil mark. Basically, um, you've got that one inch score line along your short side. Coming down from that, you've done those little score lines. At the bottom of each one, I've just put a little pencil mark. If you want to do that as well, just so it's easy for you to see, then I've just put little pencil marks over those two inch little notches that we created. Okay, then what you want to do is grab a mug. This is just a normal household mug. It's a pretty standard size, I'm sure of it. Um, and it's diameter, I mean the inner circle there is just under three. three and, it's three and one eighth of an inch, the full width of the mug. It's just a normal, I think I'm doing it, yeah, it's just a normal mug. <laughs> but you want anything, you can use circle, um, uh, what do you call it, circle dies, you could use tape. But I'm just using a mug here. The, the, all it will do is if you've got more of a larger circle or an oval kind of shape, it will just mean that this may come up slightly higher or, or slightly lower, depending on that curve. So if you imagine that curve is longer, it's going to come up higher. Okay? So what you want to do is grab your mug and grab your stylus. And first of all, I'm going to put my stylus on this little cross here. Okay, so at the bottom, so you've got this square, one inch square, bottom left hand side of that square. Put my stylus down first, pop the mug in, make sure the mug comes down to then this two inch little cross, and you're going to then join those two up. Now this is exactly the same way that I've done that smaller one and many other boxes, so I will share all those links, and those of you that have done them will know exactly what you're doing here. Now if I bring that up, can you see I've created this curve score line, okay? Then turn this and then do the next one. So again, popping my stylus down in that two inch little cross there and lining up my, uh, my mug to the bottom of this little one inch square so it's in line with that other cross. Make sure, you do really want to make sure that you get these exact, so do spend time on it. But if you've got the pencil mark there, it just makes it a bit easier. So now if I bring that one up, you can see I've created this kind of perfume, kind of neck shape. Okay, so again, onto the next one. Put this time, you've got the bottom, you've got that other one and a and one inch square, just there. Bring the mug down till it sits next to that other one. And just bring that one round. Like so. And then the last one. Okay, make sure you really do leave a good impression because you are going to be obviously curving all of this. So now you can see all of those score lines. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my rubber, just go over now and rub all that out. And basically, you want to go and repeat that on your second piece. Okay, so just go along now and burnish. You've done the big middle one, do that little quarter inch tab, like so, and just that top one. Then with this um, end facing you, so where we've done all that scoring, first of all, you're gonna cut down this first score line here, okay? And then you're gonna cut along and just take that whole piece out, like so. Then cut down the next one, like so. Miss the middle main score line that goes right down the middle and go right over to the next one. Okay, and then you're gonna remove that whole middle section. You wanna kind of, rem you wanna remove the score line. So I'm just kind of cutting a little bit under there just so I can take out the bulk of that. Okay. Then go along to the next score line, cut down, and then remove that whole piece, like so. So now you'll be left with these two one by one squares, which are at the top of your score lines, the both those score lines there. So repeat that on your second piece. Okay, and then you just want to, this glue, 
just just very gently just push down you want to just start to create these little curved score lines you just want to start bringing them to life and I can see there I've got that I've got all that score line hanging over so I'm just going to remove that bit there and then again just very gently like so once you start putting the box together they will all help each other but now if you were to bring it onto its side and start bringing it all down once they sit perfectly together you can already see you're getting one of those corners okay so again do that on the other one then with all of your pieces here so you'll have, you'll have four of these what you want to do just pop that to one side grab a pencil and a ruler and you want to come down two inches from the top just put a pencil mark then two inches on the other side and put a pencil mark then along the top you want to come in at one and a half and again one and a half from this side you're basically creating that same kind of shape so now with our, our mug again this time with my pencil I'm just going to hold my pencil at the top of one of those pencil marks and then just trace around the mug and then again put my pencil down first and trace around and that is you can see there the two pencil marks connecting so just like we did on the white card but this time we're using the pencil and now you want to cut cut that out so just really neatly right through the pencil mark you can rub out anything you really want to make sure you get a really nice curve so try and do it in you know in as little cuts as possible so you're getting quite consistent See, I'm using the whole kind of cut there before I start again. And that way you'll just get nice flow and hopefully a nice curve. Okay, and then get rid of that mug. I'm feeling like I've got a cup of tea. And just rub that out. So you want to do that on all four of your well, I've got pieces. the two here. And then you want to stick these over the top here. Okay. Now, our, this is when I can tell you the measurement. There you go. So your yours pattern this. pieces need to be nine by uh, three and three quarters. Okay, that's if you're using letter paper. Right, now just get these two stuck down. I'm just using my wet okay. I've already just stuck that one down, but for this one here, all you want to do is just come away from all of your score lines. So these, the main score lines, the side, and those curved score lines by about one eighth of an inch, just under a quarter of an inch, and it'll give you that nice little border. Okay, so if I just bring that up, you can see where the score line is there, and then where they come in, okay? So bring it down, yeah, like I said, about one eighth of an inch, and then stick it down. Okay, so why that is just all setting, we can do our base. Like I said, you want to do that so you'll now have two pieces. Now go back like to this. this, it should all be nice and stuck. I might have to roll that a little bit. I think I've gone a bit too heavy with the glue and it's just warped it ever so slightly. But a little tip with this is just run it through your, it's fine, it does lie completely flat, but I can feel it a little bit. It's just run it through your um, dye machine. So I'm gonna stick this together ooh, 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 with my um, red tape. So I'm just going to run along the little tab here, run this all the way up. I shouldn't use those scissors, but oops, quickly. Oh, I've got my other hands there, I forgot. Okay, just make sure that's all. This tape's a little bit thinner than the tab, but it will be fine. And then grab your other piece, and you want to just make sure that you line up the bottom there. I don't want to get my head in shot, so let's bring it around that way. There we go. All right, and you should be making sure that the score lines there, curved score lines, meet up, and obviously your pattern paper as well. Okay, I need to get my eraser on some of this. I've got some. Okay, glue. and then again on this last one here, just run. Okay, and then bring this one over. Bring this one over. Actually, take that off first, and then this one. 
and it should all match up if it doesn't just kind of you can pull it across a little bit like this one I can see is already about a millimeter off I'm turning it all the way around there we go start from down here instead there we go like so I'm a little bit out of the top there which is weird I've seen see this is what I mean some of the card is um, what do you call it three and uh, three <laughs> eleven and five eighths of an inch and eleven and three quarters that's slightly out there so I'm just going to have to pop it down here just show you what I would quickly do let's trim that bit like so and then I can just my bigger ones here it's hard to get them in just trying to work my way around to this side and then I can just straighten that out I've got a bit of a score line there still that I can remove like so and there you go that's just straighten that all off again now okay so this is what you will have keep it flat and then with your hole punch you basically just want to put a little dot in the middle I'm just eyeballing it but if you want to obviously put a cross through there and measure it properly and then just hole punch through both of them because that way you know that you're getting your holes all nice and even okay and then what you can do is where you've obviously squashed those sides do it again now because now they're all together you might need to help the ones where you've joined obviously your um, card together you might need a little bit of help now if we squeeze them all across you'll see you get it and then we can just burnish all of those score lines and then we just need to do a little bit of cutting so you just want to cut up each of these those two like so okay then rotate and again cut up like so then I'm just going to grab some of my wet glue just pop it on the outside there this card's cracking a little bit which is not very good and then bring that side and just pull it right up there if you get anything overhanging you can just trim it like so you can see there got a nice right angle to rub that glue out in a minute okay and again see where I've got the crack in there what I'm going to do is I'll just run some glue along that and it will just secure it but it's only on that one side which is a shame and again I'm just going to bring that one over and bring up the sides and again there you can see got a nice little corner let's just repeat okay, that on the other two side and just make sure that each of those are stuck down you can see oh no I've just done <laughs> just gone right through with my bone tool oh no I'm not I'm not wasting that that's going to be fine do you know what once a bit of glue's put on there and it's put in it, it'd be okay <laughs> I'm not redoing it again I'm just taking off that glue with this rubber and there we go oh I can't believe I've done that okay when you do that be really really careful <laughs> Don't do what I just did, it's because I've made it soft. This is obviously a crappy card. Blaming my mum, we just got it out of her stash. Anyway, you'll be using a better card than I will be. It's just that little bit there, I'm gonna have to be careful with that. Okay, so now what we wanna do, in fact, I'm not having much luck with this because I've had to edit this video because the other one I done, the measurement was obviously out and I wasn't concentrating and I had to rip it off the bottom of this box so you can see there where I've te had to tear everything off so fortunately I've got another one and now this one should sit perfectly inside which it does and then that's all going to stick down and hide it anyway so what you want to do now is just grab again your wet glue and just pop it on the bottom here but don't go any higher than three quarters of an inch so maybe just do half an inch and then you can just, um, when we stick it all together, you can kind of, um, when you put pressure on it with like the ruler and stuff, it will, it will kind of spread out that glue right up to the edge. So I'm just kind of, I know I can, I'm covering all of this horrible paper. So you can still save projects. Like I said, this is start, it was starting to stick and I thought, this doesn't look right. 
I've gone wrong. And I followed my own tutorial. <laughs> right, so what you want to do is just get the bottom and push it in like this, okay? And then pop it on your little tray, let it go. You can see, because I've edited, I've already done this bit, because I'd already done it. Now I need to undo that so I can get inside of it. But you can see how this all goes together once we put the ribbon in. So, take that one out. Okay, pop it all open. And like I said, pop it on its side and then get your ruler. Just go in. Make sure you don't pull it out like I just did. And just push that all down on each side. Get your hand in there and you can feel the bottom of the box here. Just make sure your card's coming right up to the bottom there, okay? When you've done that one side, make sure obviously it's nice and it's stuck down. Flip the whole thing over and just bring that card down to the other side. And just keep working your way around, then do the other side and so on until that glue is completely stuck to all of your edges. Okay. okay, so I've gone around there, you can see now where it all sticks nicely to the bottom. I'm just being careful not to um, go through, make sure I can get that hole fixed, which I think I'm, I've hidden, I think it's okay. Just make sure all of your corners are all nicely joined. And that's why it's good to use the wet glue because you can obviously spend time moving it around. If you use, if you had used red tape now, I think you'd be in a bit of a mess, but you can see there how nice it is. And I've managed to cover up and save my box. So now you will have some ribbon. For this you will need, um, what did I say it was? Um, 12 inches, 11 or 12 inches of it, tie it in a knot, and then basically start from one of these sides, pop it in like so, and obviously pop all them down. Then go across to your opposite side. If you want to look at a different way of closing it, check out the curved one and the other tutorials that I've put up alongside this one because I think I've got about two other alternative ways to close it. Um, so yeah, you might want to, you know, you might prefer one of those. And um, I think I stuck the base down to the other one a different way as well. Um, it's all the same measurements. That was a four by four as well. It's just this one is taller. And then that one goes on top. There you go. So there is the box, super strong, perfect for you know a small bottle of wine, a nice bottle of beer, um, big candles, all sorts of stuff. So that's that one, and then oh, I'll put the other one over the other side. That was that one as well, just to give you an idea, obviously, in terms of decoration. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with these. You can hear they are solid. This one's still got to set a bit, and I think I've saved that hole, but uh, yeah, there you go try and cover it all up. I'm not going to hide anything. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.